Hi, this is John from Canon's Image Prograph Large Format Printer Division. In this short video, we'll talk about the built-in calibration features of the 12-color and 8-color Image Prograph printers. The concept of calibration minimizes the color differences between multiple printers, or if you are using a single printer, will linearize the printer to the factory standard. It creates a color accuracy stability of delta E less than 2 and it only takes about 10 minutes to complete. The calibration procedure will print test patches and measure them with the internal multi-sensor. The multi-sensor is located on the printer's print head carriage. The calibration procedure should be performed using a high quality phototype media and you should use the same media for subsequent calibrations in the future. If a good phototype paper is not available to perform the calibration you can use the heavyweight coated paper that comes with the printer. You initiate the calibration procedure from the printer's control panel by selecting Adjust Printer, Calibration, Yes. The calibration procedure takes approximately 10 minutes and is recommended at the following times during the life of your printer. Upon installation of the new printer, a change of one or both of the print heads, and if over time you notice there's a difference in the output quality, you should calibrate again. When you select calibration from the control panel, here is the process that the printer will go through. First, a series of patches will be printed on your media. The patches will dry, and then the multi-sensor will scan the reflected density values of these patches. Once the patches are scanned, the printer will calculate the density characteristics of each patch and calculate an internal correction table that compares it to the factory standard that is built into the printer. The printer automatically applies this correction table for output. So why is it important to calibrate? If you are going to create custom media profiles, the calibration is important to linearize the printer prior to creating those profiles. An uncalibrated printer out of the box typically has a delta E of about 5. Calibration will reduce this to a delta E of less than 2, and this is the factory standard. You should always calibrate your printer using the same media type. For example, a glossy phototype media can be used to calibrate. In order to save paper, use a 17-inch wide roll and load it into the printer any time you want to calibrate. If you don't have a good phototype paper, the heavyweight coated media roll that ships with your printer can be used for calibration. However, your results will be better if you did use a phototype paper. The goal of calibration is to provide consistency over time for your printer. The process uses the internal multi-sensor which focuses on the density of the patches that are printed. It does not measure spectral data or the color gamut. Unlike our competitors, you do not have to calibrate to every paper that you use. One media is sufficient. The printer uses internal algorithms in order to apply your single calibration to the other medias that are in the media library. Calibration prior to performing any RIP profiling and patch iteration is also highly recommended so that the printer is at a known factory standard when you begin. A couple of final points. Is the calibration always active? Yes it is unless you decide to turn it off in the printer's control panel. Calibration, Use Adjustment Value, Menu Selection. And in the Photoshop Printing plugin, can you use this calibration value? Yes, from the plugin's main tab, Advanced Settings, Printer Default, you can use the value or disregard the value. The internal calibration is very useful when using a RIP. Since the RIP's calibration values are data points, if you ran the printer's calibration slash linearization prior to the RIP measurements, as environmental conditions change over time, it's easy to reset the printer through recalibration rather than through the RIP recalibration. This saves much time. Thanks for watching this short video on Canon's Image Prograph calibration feature.